Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is, do you read a specific number of pages before giving up on a book that you aren't enjoying? Short answer, no, because I don't tend to give up on books at all. Slightly longer answer, there are two groups of books that I haven't finished. One, the haven't finished and I'm not going to finish, and two, the haven't finished yet, but I'm going to after I've finished reading some other things, which might sound a lot like the usual do not finish piles, but the first category, the ones that I don't intend to finish, is a category of three books. War and Peace, Finnegan's Wake, and Desolation Angels. But I can't actually think of any books apart from that that I haven't finished and I'm probably not going to finish in the next couple of weeks. As each of those three books I first read when I was a teenager because, and you probably won't be surprised to learn this, I was reasonably good at English in the later years of my school education. And so I liked Portrait of the Artist, I liked the Dubliners, I liked Ulysses. So assuming that if I liked 75% of Joyce's work, Finnegan's Wake would be interesting. I tried, and I didn't go very far and set it aside. Similarly with War and Peace. I tried to read it, but all of the names where you've got the person's full name, the person's title, the person's chunk of name that someone uses, someone else will use a different chunk of name, there are abbreviations that don't abbreviate in the same way that English names do. So the amount of effort it took me sitting there with my list of which characters had which sets of names, translating back, trying it all, pushed me out of the book to the point where I didn't finish it. And Thirdly Desolation Angels, it's, well, it's a book about a relatively ordinary man. Which isn't to say he isn't unique and special, but he isn't unique and special in ways that are exciting, like superheroism or being a half-orc mage or whatever. And so it didn't engage me. And so... I put them aside and most books there is something about them that will engage me whether it's characters, the style of writing, the plot to the point where my natural desire to know how things end combined with that interest will be stronger than the bits of the book that aren't interesting. Which means I have a desire to finish that is stronger than the desire to set it aside forever because I'm not enjoying it. Which, once you add in the fact that my time investment isn't that high. So I read, I could read a couple of novels in a week easily. So if I'm partway through a novel and I'm not enjoying it, if I go, well, maybe I'll try and finish it anyway, that's starting a new book in a couple of days' time. Whereas if I put it aside now and go, I'm not enjoying it, I won't finish it, it's only getting me starting the next book a day or so earlier. So I'm not losing weeks by committing to finishing books. Potentially if I was, I'd be more harsh in my this book isn't enjoyable enough, so I won't finish it. But 
are those three books that haven't made it. And I've tried to read Finnegan's Wake a number of other times to make sure that it wasn't just that I was too young for it and reached the point where I just don't enjoy the experience enough to be worth trying to push through. Like, technically, it's intriguing, but I don't need to prove anything by having read it. I don't need to tick books off a list of a hundred most famous books just so I've read them all. So those I will probably never go back to because it's been long enough without me having picked them up that finishing them would be just proving I could do it. The second category are immerse or die books, which are, I do two types of written review. The standard recognisable long form review about a whole book, where I talk about whether the characters were plausible, whether the story arc is interesting, what sort of readers might enjoy or not enjoy a book, whether the language is going to make people who don't like Appalachian Creole slog a bit and or whatever. And Immerse or Die, which is based on not whether a book is any good as a whole or who might enjoy or not enjoy it, but whether a book can hold attention for 40 minutes if there were other things that should be doing. So if you are looking for a book as a distraction, is it going to hold you? If you could also be watching a repeat of a television program, going to the shop to buy some cake, going into the back garden to kick a football about, or whatever it is you do that you enjoy but isn't reading. And so that's start the book. If you lose immersion three times, stop reading the book. If you reach 40 minutes, stop reading the book. And the book wins Immerse or Die if it makes it to 40 minutes of reading without having lost my attention three times. And that's not necessarily lack of enjoyment. It's strictly losing my attention. As in, if I'm reading a book and the prose slows down or to the point where I suddenly think, oh, I should get the washing out. That's a loss of immersion. If I hit and then he raised his Colt 45 to his shoulder and braced it. And I think, what? It's revolt. How does that work? And then the fight scene's over. That's a loss of plausibility is enough to make me think, what's the author doing, rather than accept it. But it's nothing to do with whether I'm enjoying the story or not. But for those, because I do one a week, I start reading the book, I'll read for up to 40 minutes of it, and then I'll put it down and write up the report. And I'm usually reading something else. So those books will go on my to be read later pile and I'll get to them when I've worked through the book I'm reading plus any books I'm reading for the purposes of reviewing plus any books I desperately want to read as soon as I possibly can because I've got it and I think it's going to be great. So those can sit around for a couple of weeks but I won't get to the point where I don't read them at all. I'll still finish those because of all of the Immerse or Die books I've read to the end of, I enjoyed them enough that it was worth the time I took to read them. Because of there being characters, plot, language, any of which could entertain me, and it not being this vast investment of time. So I don't read a specific number of pages before giving up on a book, the closest I get is 
I'll put a book aside because I'm going through a really busy time where I can't commit to a couple of hours pushing through something. So I'll, if something really isn't grabbing me at that point, I'll put it aside, read something light, uh, maybe sort of light military fantasy or a bit of comical swords and sorcery or whatever, something that doesn't need me to pay the same level of attention. And then I'll come back to the book that needs slightly more effort to immerse me when I've got slightly more time. So, toodaloo!